So I'm here at the Kudo 3D office in Pleasanton. Uh, I've always wanted to make a build video, but I've long since unboxed, built, and then thrown away the packaging from mine. So Kudo 3D let me uh, get access to a new and unboxed uh, or fully boxed printer, and I'm gonna unbox it, we'll put it together, and try to figure out what the, the best way to get up and running in hopefully less than an hour. So I've got the box open here, and it's turned on its side so we can easily pull stuff out. Um, you don't really want to have to lift everything uh, in the box out. And when you first open the box, you'll see there's a couple of sections here with a variety of components, some of which we'll need now and some of which we'll need later um, once we actually get to print. So the first thing we're going to do is take out the pieces um, one by one and set aside the parts that we don't necessarily need right away for assembling the printer. Um, it might not be obvious what those are, but I'll, I'll walk you through it. So first piece up here, this is a build plate. This is the small build plate. Most people probably ordered the large build plate. It's just a bit bigger than this. We don't need this for building the printer right now. So I will go ahead and set this aside and we'll move those all off later. This is the board, the control board, the uh, the ramps board that controls the linear stage. We will need to use this as part of the assembly, so I'll put this over here on this side of the table. Blower, we don't need this right away. Brush, we also won't be building that into the printer. This guy here is the L bracket. This L bracket is going to be part of the linear stage that we use to build. We will be assembling this. Put this over here. Here's a cable. There we go. And this is the linear stage. This is an easy kind of a one piece um, Z axis that contains the uh, stepper motor and the uh, uh, slide here uh, driven by a screw. Um, this is pretty convenient that it's mostly assembled into a module um, and uh, we will need this. Um, so. so that's it here. Next I will take this top off. We'll fill that off. Now we've got some of the actual hardware pieces of the printer that we'll have to get out. So put this on the side, I can just slide this guy out. This is the case, the body of the printer. I'm going to remove it from its bag. have this container and shaking around in here is a vat. So I'm just going to pop off one of these sides. I'm going to take the vat out. Um, and then for now, I'll put this wall back on. When we assemble, I'm actually going to take all four of these walls off. Um, but right now, just to make some space, I'll put this and we will need this for assembly. And then we've got this. So this vat we won't need, so I'll put this in the pile of stuff we, we don't need over here. And the last item then left in the box is this big pizza box. So now I've got the pizza box out. I don't need the big box anymore. So I'll put the big box off to the side. And everything that I don't need, I'll just put it back in the box. And then there will be more stuff here then that we don't that we don't need. So inside the pizza box, got a lot of different stuff. Um, some of which we'll need now, and some of which we will need later. We will need the fan.
and uh, we will need this part to go into our board, but I won't need the cable for now. We've got a mini funnel, I won't need that. We've got some of this tape. This tape is for the putting together the orange lid. We're we'll doing the lid separately, so I'll leave all the lid items here. So we've got the ruler. Um, we'll be using something different, so we don't need to worry about that for now. Um, and the lid parts, cables, and that's it. So we won't need those. And then we've got this box here. And this contains all of the small parts. We have um, one bag full of our screws and our T-nuts. I'm going to open this guy up and we're going to need to use these. So I'll dump these into a cup to make it easier to access it. Inside the small parts box, there's a couple of extra things to take note of. We've got two Allen keys and we'll need these when we uh, attach the projector. I'll leave these here for now. And you have this foam wedge. Um, don't lose this. This is an important part. This is what's referred to in the manual as the lens lock. Um, and so it's easy to misplace this, especially since it's white. Um, so I'll leave it in this cup also. And just remember um, to, to keep an eye on that foam wedge. We've got the casters. These will go on the bottom of the printer. We will need those. Here is a cable. This is the HDMI cable to connect the projector to your computer. I'll leave all the stuff that we need to use to connect to the computer aside, so I'll move these over. Um, all these cables we can deal with later. Wire snippers we will not need. The tweezers we don't need. The steel spatula we don't need. This guy here contains a big razor blade in here. We don't need this right now either for assembly. Here's the orange handled Allen wrench. This is very important. We'll be using this a lot. So this is going to come here right next to me because most of the assembly we do is going to be using this tool. Um, the bubble level, uh, we may be using this. So let's keep that. This is used to attach the build plate on. You might as well keep this for now. These are spares. You'll notice that I just kind of pulled the sides off and we have kind of snapped in uh, sides, which is very convenient. Um, but these are extras. We won't need them now. And then we've got this thing, this geometric shape. This is a very important part. This is what's going to attach the linear stage um, that we have here onto um, the body of the printer. So we'll need these. Everything else now we can put away. So let's get rid of this pizza box. come back to this later. So now our table should be relatively clear of obstacles. First thing I'm going to do, well there's a couple things I want to do. I'm going to want to count these to make sure that I have the right number. I don't want to run out of these in the middle of the build. Um, so I'll do that, and then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to pop off all four sides of the, or three sides of the case. This will make it easier to access. just pull out. I'm also going to take these to not clutter up the space, set them aside, try to keep the space free of anything that I don't need. 
So allow us to count parts to make sure that we have everything that we are supposed to have. Go through the parts list in the manual. We've got the hand screw. We've got the 12 centimeter fan, DC adapter, four feet. Back of clips, a small parts pack which is in here. So we're supposed to have the one and a half millimeter Allen key and the two and a half millimeter Allen key. And that's good. Got the lens stop. We're supposed to have three 14 millimeter M3s. Those are the small, the thinnest ones. And so we do, we've got, oops, got three of those. So I'll put those in there. We're supposed to have two spacers, these uh, clear things. We gotta have two of those. Oh, actually, could be these metal things. Let me double check. I think so. Yeah, so these metal discs also are spacers. So we've got one of these metal discs and the second metal disc. I'll do it closer to the camera here. And then what else are we supposed to have in here? Four M4 20 millimeter screws. These are the long ones. One, two, three, four. Those are in here. That's good. Six M5 six millimeter. Six millimeters really short. So these are the short, thick ones that's got a hex on the top here. There should be six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like I got a couple extras. Oh no, there's supposed to be nine. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine is the correct number. Read that wrong. Next, T nuts. The matching T nuts for these nine of them. The T nuts are these um, kind of uh, rectangular things with uh, with a little screw, a little thread in them. There should be nine of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, lens stop, two Allen key. So we're good. This kit is set. I don't want to lose any of those. Got the Allen wrench, and we are ready to get start installing. Let's get these casters out. Oh, these are not casters; these are just feet. Let's get these feet out. So see, we've got feet, and then they've got a nut on them. We've got four of these. That to the side. First thing we're going to do is roll the nuts down to the end of the the bottom of each foot. So we're just going to kind of loosely hand tighten these all the way down. And then we're going to screw them in down to the bottom. We got an extra one somewhere. Put that in here, we'll take care of it later. So now we're going to screw in the feet. I'm pushing these now, those here. This is pretty easy. We're just gonna put